Hey, Brandon from Lanyap here. Um, today we're going to be talking about some KVMs. We have some KVMs right here, um, and we're going to talk about what they are, how they work, and how I use them on a daily basis. Uh, they're very handy products to have. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so essentially, with KVMs, uh, you have options, right? So these KVMs are the ones I use. Uh, KVM stands for Keyboard, Video, and Mouse. And the first one that I started to use that I got introduced to was this guy. So this, this is a KVM and how it works is a KVM. You plug your keyboard and mouse. You can see here the icons, keyboard and mouse here with the output to your monitor here. So your keyboard, and your mouse, and your monitor are plugged in. Then you go and you plug in computers, right? So PC one, PC two, and on these computers, you're plugging the video uh, from the computer in here, and you're plugging a USB port in. And what that does is it sends the signal from the computer to the video, to the monitor, and then it sends the signal from the keyboard and mouse to the computer. Now on this one, you have the ability to select which computer you actually want to use. So um, one through eight, and you can select the computer. It tells you which one you, you've selected, things like that. So this is a great little KVM. This is the standard type of KVM that most people use. And they'll put it in a rack with a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and then they'll have several rack mount computers hooked up to it. That's one way to do it. Now, another way to do it is with this little guy and this little guy. These go together in the same way that this larger KVM has uh, inputs for your keyboard and mouse with the output for your monitor, and then has the computer inputs and outputs here. These KVMs have the inputs for your keyboard and your mouse with the output for your monitor. And then on this one, it's got the thing that's here, right? It's got the uh, output of your PC video, and then a USB connection to your computer, right? So this stuff lines up with this piece and this stuff lines up with this piece. And then what happens is you connect a uh, fiber to fiber. So what this is doing is this is taking the signal of your keyboard and mouse and then transmitting it over fiber to the computer, right? And so now what I've done essentially is I've created a, uh, a, K a KVM circuit here that I can put across the building. So here's the idea. I put, for instance, back here, I put, I mounted a Mac mini on the wall with one of my KVM boxes. And then I ran fiber all the way to the lobby of my office where I put a keyboard, a video and a mouse. So now that setup in the lobby is controlling the computer back here. So now we go into why would you do this, right? Generally speaking, you do this because if you are running a single fiber cable back here with only a keyboard video and mouse up there, you're managing all of your computers centrally, right? In one room right here, I will have all of my computers set up in this room and then it goes to all my offices. So if there's ever an issue with someone's computer, I deal with it here. If I wanted to upgrade my network to a faster network, maybe I want to use 25 gig networking. I might need shorter cables. The, uh, the types of cables um, are often called DAC cables or fiber cables, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, and you can see them over my shoulder here, these short cables. So if I'm using shorter cables to get faster speeds and more reliability on my networking, it makes sense to have my computers centralized in a central location and then still be able to utilize and control them from thousands of feet away. Right. So if you imagine a larger facility where maybe you have a warehouse, uh, it would make sense to put a KVM literally a thousand feet away from where the computers are and just have a keyboard video mouse over on a desk and then put all of your computers back in the central uh, IT closet, we call it, 
and manage it all centrally. So that's the whole purpose of a KVM. Now, KVMs come in several different flavors and sizes. Um, not all KVMs will utilize fiber. Uh, the particular ones that I have are capable of sending uncompressed uh, 4K HDMI over fiber. Um, some of these require a web interface. This one does not. Uh, some of these require CAT6 cabling or CAT5 cabling. Um, this one actually utilizes fiber, which is great. Um, and I haven't tested it, but this one actually, the fiber that it's doing is a an SFP port. So this guy comes out and this is a standard um, SFP plus for fiber. And yeah, you can replace this module if you want to, I don't know, maybe upgrade it or do something like that. Um, so yeah, I haven't played around with that too much because I like the setup that uh, that it comes out of the box. So these things, um, another benefit of them really is having the, the cabling um, already set to fiber allows me to, to not have to worry about networking upgrades. And these things are only a few hundred dollars on Amazon. Um, and you think, oh, well, that's a lot of money, but in reality, let's say that I'm running a five, a cat five cable from my network to the computer in the lobby. And then let's say I want to upgrade because the cat five can only support hundred megs. And then let's say I want to upgrade to uh, a gig connection, which is a thousand megs. Then I would have to run a cat six, a cable or a cat six cable. Um, and so I would have to take that cable out of the attic and run a new one. So time materials, all that you're going to spend probably a hundred or $200 to get another cable run. Then let's say I want to upgrade to a thousand gig, right? Or sorry, a hundred gig connection. Well, a hundred gig connection is going to, I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to take the cable out, put a new cable in the attic, run the whole thing. At some point it's like, look, just run a fiber line, put a KVM on either side. And then any of that upgrades and networking and stuff you have to do is just all centralized right here. And you don't have to run lines through the attic or do anything because you're, you're the only, the only thing that's being transmitted through the attic is going to be your video, your keyboard and your mouse. So your internet connection and all that stuff is all managed here centrally in a centralized location. That's why I like KVMs the most. Um, now, when you get a lot of things, uh, so over in the standing rack here, I have these blue boxes. Um, these are servers. When you get several of them, having a larger KVM like this one on the bottom, which will allow me to hook up to eight of those, uh, is really beneficial. And you can see in the rack also, I have a, a monitor mounted in the rack already. Um, so the idea being that I can control from that monitor with a keyboard and mouse, I can control every server that's in that rack. So this is why I like KVMs. I think they're great. This this little product here, this, this little KVM, uh, this is probably my favorite one. Um, I just like the fact that it's fiber. Um, so as far as upgrading wires and doing that stuff, you're already running fiber. I run single mode fiber, not multi-mode. Um, just because I like the reliability of it and the, I don't know, it's something about single mode is just to me a better way to do this. Um, now, if I was running internet over it or some sort of data over the fiber, maybe that would be different. But with this, technically you only, when you're doing KVM, you only really need a hundred meg. So a five cat five cable is all you really need. You don't need a fiber cable. You don't need a cat six, six or cat six a cable, uh, really stick with a, a cat five if you want. Um, however, for a few extra bucks, you can get the fiber versions and run these. And I find these to be pretty helpful. I mount these, they already have the, the brackets on them. I mount these under desks. I mount them on walls. I mount them everywhere. Um, so these are great little devices. I really like them. And yeah, I think that more people should really start utilizing them. I think if more people centralized their main computers that never move anyways, centralize those uh, over by your router and then stack them up and have them all in one spot. That way, if there's ever issues with the internet or whatever, it's all just right there. Um, I think more people should definitely look into this.
so yeah that's pretty much it um trying to keep this video a little bit short uh if you liked it give it a like um and yeah let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on kvms um or if you've never used one what why not like what would stop you from giving it a shot um i think this is a great little device to try uh i've gotten a lot of use out of it so yeah let me know